Welcome. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Radio Tunes Podcast. How's it going, Ernie? It's going great. It's great to be back. Yeah, I got a little back. joke book here. Oh, I want to okay. tell you a little joke before we Why start. Why do you insist on reading from that thing? This is a this is the New York Taxi Cab Driver's Joke Book, Volume 2. Oh, there were multiple volumes? Yeah, there's two. I have them both. Um, Awful. What do you get when you kiss a bird? I don't know, Steve. What do you get when you kiss a bird? Chirpies. It's a canarial disease that's untweetable. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway, I just wanted to read that little joke. <laughs> kind of set the tone for the rest of the podcast, you know? Uh, that you're disgusting? <laughs> sure, yeah, that I that I kiss birds. I am Steve. I am one of your hosts. I am Ernie. I am the co-host. The, we are the Radio Tunes. We are the podcast. Um, but yeah, um, how's it going, Ernie? How you doing? It's pretty good. It's been a nice yeah. week. Yeah, uh, we um, finally hacked the SNES. <laughs> yeah, we Mini. finally we finally hacked the Super Nintendo Classic. Uh, you know what's funny though is we had a fucking hard time looking for ROMs. Yeah, well, the, especially the one the, the the ROM site that you went to. Yeah. Because it's uh, I, I guess like when you when you do ROM searches whatever it's the top one. Right. And it's and to be honest, Emmy Paradise I think that's the one you go to. That one in particular is just like that's where I used to get mine. And then I think they cracked down on it, no? They they did, because we were trying to get Donkey Kong Country 2, and we had to go to like a different site, and then all base, all of the all of the, the hits, basically, were not on this website, so... I mean, thank God the Super Nintendo Classic already has most of them, because we were thinking, well, what what do we want? And uh, yeah, most of them were like, well, that's already on there. You gotta have Turtles in Time, you gotta have, like, fucking Chrono Trigger, you Chrono know. Chrono Trigger's a good one, too. Aladdin. Ugh, Aladdin. Yeah. Earthworm Jim. You know, like... Oh, the, yeah. yeah. Earthworm so. Jim. So they were for some reason I don't I don't know if yeah like Nintendo cracked down, I don't know if they thought like they preemptively took them down because they were like Super Nintendo Classic is coming out so. Yeah. Let's but just... I, I don't get it too because before like when we first started doing emulation, uh-huh. I remember the rule was well if you have the game you can legally play the ROM, so we were like oh we're covered, I don't you know it's... I, it's like when you used to be able to download it mm-hmm. like like being seriously like I used to when we first started to do this. And I guess that was what, like in the nineties. I don't think Nintendo cares about that. No, no, no. But when you would click the the link, uh-huh. it said it said uh, you are only legally allowed to use this if you have the cartridge. Click oh. to continue. Well, how are they fucking gonna know? Well, that was their way of covering themselves. They're like, hey, yeah. we put this prompt, and if they don't own the game, then they can't have this copy of it. Blah, That's blah, blah. not gonna hold up in. Uh, well, apparently it <laughs> <in> didn't. <court. laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we, we got Donkey Kong Country Two. We're playing that right now. And that is a hard game. But like. Already from like the first couple levels, it's like this game is so much like it is like miles above the first game, and it's weird because like I'm pretty sure I said this last week, but it's like Donkey Kong Country One is still a classic. Yeah, but Part Two is just like it's amazing how much more they added in that game. Like fuck, like yeah, that game is so they, good. They they didn't really change the. Um... Controls for the player. No, no, no. The controls are still like the, the controls same. are still what they are. You know, Dixie's a new a new hotness kind of thing. But um, you the, get to you get you have the tag team attacks like yeah. the throwing. That's about it. That's about that's about the what? Well, yeah, okay. That is the last the only thing. But what they did was they assumed you knew certain things from the first one, right? And they just built on that. Yeah, because like, this game doesn't pull any punches. No, like, they assume that you know that, oh, you can bounce on certain things. So you know what? We're going to make a whole level where you just have to bounce on a, a, just a crap ton of either uh, projectiles or enemies to get across something. Uh-huh. Floor, they added, they added like, all sorts of new mechanics because like, there's, um, there's even levels where you're just the animals by themselves. Yes. Oh, you know, you know like before though, that was only kind of like a special stage thing. Mm-hmm. But now it's like its own level in itself. And they have, like, all new animals. I think Ram... And they, well, they have some of the old animals, but I think then... Rambi is the only old one. No, they have Engard, too. On guard. They do? Yeah, he's in one of the levels. We haven't We haven't. We reached didn't him get him, though. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, probably not. <laughs> but, yeah. But, um, um, and Squawks is still from the old one, although it's, it's like, it's like, super a, Squawks. It's like a different, like, bigger Squawks that yeah. can shoot nuts from his mouth or something. Yeah, yeah, but, like, it's, it is still Squawks. Um, the, the one who didn't come back was, uh... Sprint? I forget what he, the the ostrich. He didn't come back. Espresso. Espresso. There's a lot of them that didn't come back. I mean, I guess they just thought like 
let's scrap the animals that didn't really work. Yeah. And let's add in, like, funner, newer ones. Like, the spider is so cool. Yeah, the spider his, is like, probably little, the favorite. Yeah, his, yeah. his like, little web thing can create platforms so you can go, like, basically anywhere. God, I love that. You can just hack the whole level that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the, the cool part is not... See, like like what I was saying earlier, they they knew that you knew those animals, uh-huh. but then they amped them up. So now the animals have an alt. They have like a, a thing that they can do that's a bigger power. Yeah, they, than they have had an before. A button attack too. Yeah, like, so Randy has, has like the charge. The, right. Yeah. Right. Uh, and guard has the charge as well. He has. Yeah, the charge, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, let's see. The spider, obviously, we're talking. He has a platform. Plus, he can shoot webs out of his mouth. Uh-huh. Squawks also has the same thing. But not only does he shoot things out of his mouth, he also can carry you. Those levels suck, by the way. Those are probably the worst levels in the game. The bramble stages? <laughs> yeah, where you have to go through the the stupid spikes and like he's yeah. like shooting out. They're oh, definitely was... tough. I, I mean, I, I told you this too while we were playing. It's like I wonder if the thought process was like, you know what, the stage is gonna be hell, so let's let's give him some good music and let's give him the oh my gosh, yeah, something nice to listen to because that song is really good. Those are really good. And the, the musical overall, um, it's David Wise. He he makes a lot of music for rare games. Wow, you know the. The guy's name? Yeah, because he did music for on Pukulele too. I'm sorry, Pukulele. <laughs> oh, Ukulele. What are you talking about? Ukulele. Like, what is that? <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was a slip of the tongue, a, a, a Freudian slip, if you will. Um, but yeah, he's a he's he's like a veteran composer. It apparently took him. Wait, like, did he work on Banjo Kazooie too? I don't I don't know actually, but I, I I remember hearing somewhere that the music for Diddy Kong, uh, Diddy's Conquest, took him like somewhere around two years to finish or something it was wow. like his, yeah i mean it definitely shows because it's not in duck Kong country there's a couple of times where they reuse you know tracks and everything mm-hmm. uh but in this game it feels like everything has its own music you know what too when you die depending on what stage you have or like what stage you're on and what music is playing it'll play a different like game over or not game over but like death song it'll play a little game over jingle version of the song that that's like that, currently playing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like, holy shit, dude! Like, <laughs> how do they fit all this onto like a cartridge? Like, there's well, so much in that game. I I definitely love this game, uh, but it's super super hard. Like, yeah, the we, stage, where do we end up like stopping? We stopped right after we beat the. Uh, We're on the ghost levels, I think. Where yes. It's like yes, because we stopped at those stupid ghost ropes. Yeah, we just beat the. And dude, like, what level is this? This is level. This is world five, and they're still in, like just like in the other one. They're still introducing new yeah. ways to play. There's a, there's a level on this current like world we're on that uses wind. That's pretty yeah. frustrating. It's 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 pretty hard. Yeah. And then they even have those ghost uh, ropes, so they yeah. disappear after a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the one that started that blue hedgehog thing? That was in the the world before what, okay, the swampy the one. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that's another one. Uh huh. Yeah, those dudes that throw the crates were in the last one. Yeah, the they're girls. only in there. Ha 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 <laughs> ha ha ha. Those guys, you know which guys I'm it's talking about. It's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good. Thanks, uh, man. Invitation. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, uh, also, we put up. Uh, we put up. I don't know if it's gonna be two by the time this is out, but we put up uh, some videos of us playing a uh, Cuphead. So check those out if you want. You know, uh, those are those are pretty fun to record. So and I just like to say I do I am better at that game uh, on single player. Yeah. I'm just saying, because <laughs> like, the that... first few bosses, uh-huh. like on the, the the first episode, it's already up. So go check it out. But I don't play that well on that one. Yeah, it's a, but I gotta tell you, I'm pretty damn good. It's frustrating, okay? man. When there's two people on the screen, there's a lot to worry about. It's just coordination yeah. in that game. The, especially, like, um, parrying stuff. Yeah, it's parrying like, each other. Well, well, what I mean is, like, when you parry something and somebody else is going for it at the same time, and then he just falls straight down as opposed to parrying something, and he gets hit by something. And Yeah, and uh, like I said, I said it in the podcast, or in the thing, you'll hear it, but I would say, uh, like, for example, when... The enemy targets you instead of me, but I dodge it, uh-huh. thinking it's at me, and then I end up inadvertently going into it. Right. Like okay, yeah. yeah. So I know that's a little hard to explain, but if for anybody who's played Cuphead, uh-huh. they know what we're talking about. Yeah. Um. I-, I wanted to mention something real fast too. It's completely off topic, but I, I just remembered. Uh, the Switch got a system update. Oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, apparently you can use the GameCube controller now. You can use what? The, yeah, you can use the. Uh, what is that thing called? The, the adapter. The, the GameCube adapter. Yeah. 
Are you serious? I didn't yeah. know that. I, I, that's so, so cool. I don't know what they're. I don't know what they're planning. I don't know if they're. I they, don't know if they, that's a little hint, a little, a little wink. You know, oh at the, my at the, gosh, at the Please Smash Brothers don't community. Start. I think no, because here's the other thing. They also um, the the update didn't actually say uh, a lot of the hidden features it had. Uh-huh. I guess that's an example of one. But I told you uh, a couple days ago, it works with most video uh, USB uh, wireless headsets. Oh, okay. so if yeah, you yeah, yeah. if you if it's in the base, obviously, uh-huh. you put in the the USB on the back. Most of them will work. And then there's a separate um, option when when your you know switch turns up to like it goes oh wireless headphone volume yeah I, I guess the video thing was the biggest like reveal or whatever right that you could capture video on some games oh really yeah and like well, how long does it let you do it for mm, I I don't know but a lot of people have been posting like Breath of the Wild clips on Twitter now because so oh my just... gosh yeah so it's cool this is yeah. like you rem- this reminds me of when remember when I think it was PlayStation three. They were like, we're going to have a dedicated social media button. Mm-hmm. Remember that? PlayStation 3? I think it was either 3 or... F- PlayStation 4, 4 has, has a one. dedicated one? They have a share button, yeah. That is so weird. Why? That is, it's just, I don't know, it seems... The Xbox has the same thing. No, it doesn't have a dedicated button for it. No, but you can share clips oh, Of course stuff. you can share clips, but I'm sorry, talking about this dedicated is, button. This is just Nintendo catching up at this point, you know? Oh, like, sure, yeah, like, of course. But like... Xbox is shares. You to think it's weird to have a button that says share or what? Yeah, it's a little Why? weird. Just a dedicated button for it. Because it's just, it's like, is that how much uh, our society needs to share every single moment of our lives? Uh-huh. I don't know. Sure. It seems a little weird. Uh, but like like you were saying, Xbox has a version of it. Yeah, you, uh, you press the home, the X or something, right? And it... X, and it shares to their, like, their version of social media. So it's not as cool as the as the PlayStation one because your PlayStation one shares right off to like Facebook or Twitter, Twitter, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. This is totally like, oh, you're in our world. You know whatever. what's weird? The other day I got a fucking like a like a bot. You know how Twitter has like sex bots that will say like, oh, hey, hey, come check out my profile. Yeah, they'll be like, no, the like the sex bots that are just like, I'm horny and I want to fuck men. Right. Have you seen those? Yes. They have those like on PlayStation Network. I didn't even know that. What? Yeah, there was, there was just this person that that like messaged me, "Hi, how old are you?" I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. So I had you a, sure it was a woman. <laughs> it, her name was like Sasha Kisses XOXO or something. Wow. Yeah. So I, I immediately like went on my phone and I googled like, "All right, are PlayStation bots like a thing?" And sure enough, there was like a whole Reddit discussion like, "Wow." Yeah, and they were really? just they were just like, "Yeah, you should block them because they could like." mess up your messaging or something whoa yeah. Yeah. that's crazy yeah I, was like, I, I thought that was all like an aol and like every i mean well, i mean twitter uh, has them yeah twitter has them every so often i, I get excited because like so and so is following you and then you look at the profile picture and it's some cl- some girl's cleavage and you're like oh never mind really, yeah, it's just a fake bot <laughs> it's just a fake bot that decided to I follow mean, you i don't you know what too it's like i don't want to get too into this but i don't understand what the point of that is some people fall for it. It's like a phishing scam. But, like, because they have them, like, on Tinder, too, like, on dating sites. Yeah. And they have them on Facebook, and I just... I like, haven't seen them on Facebook. What's the point of it? Just phishing. Like, just get them to the site. Okay. See, because, like, some people just get money off you visiting the site. Uh-huh. Uh, and then if they get you on the site, most of the time it'll say, hey, uh, agree Credit to this. Info. Well, no, agree to this. We'll put some malware that'll, like track you oh, and then they'll sell that off to a third party Jesus that's how they make Christ. the money that's i mean insane. it's yeah it's pretty messed up but like it's enough it's everything just to get the click you know yeah i get you that's what it is okay i i, I was just completely it's amazing yeah. but like i said it's amazing that they've gotten on the playstation because you think it would be a little more secure given that it's like its own network then again i mean hasn't sony been know. hacked like twice i don't i don't think that's the concern i think it's just the fact that you can like uh, uh, I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. I, I am. That's uh, that's why I'm saying I'm just like I'm baffled as to like why like it like it works. It's just like those phishing scams where people send to your email that people still fall for. That are like, hey, I'm a Nigerian prince. Oh right. And I and I need to transfer a million dollars. If you let me use your account, I'll give you ten thousand. Not falling for that one again. You guys got me <laughs> once, but uh, never again. That check did not clear. Right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, they've been playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh all day on Twitch today. Oh my gosh! And I couldn't... yeah, I like how you sent that to me. You're like, hey, there. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh on Twitch. You just sent it to me. And I was yeah. like, oh. 
Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so it's uh, it's like it's like seven o'clock on Monday right now, and I, they they already went back to the first episode. So I don't know if they're like stopping tonight, and they're gonna continue tomorrow or something. So they only went to season one. They or stopped they... at the episode where Kaiba and Joey duel with his discs. Wow, that's not even at the end of season yeah, one. Yeah, that's like half of season one, right? Yeah, where his battle ox just keeps taking out everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it even simulates the smell. Yeah, oh yeah. my god. This, <laughs> this, this show aged so poorly, in my opinion, man. It is the most ridiculous show. I, I honestly, like... I, I, I mean, I, I can believe that kids were into this. Of course they were, dude. But, like, it was brilliant, okay? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it from a from a marketing standpoint for uh-huh. like Konami Bravo because right. not only did they make this card game that had a cartoon to follow uh-huh. because you know Nintendo did what they did Pokemon and they did the cartoon side by side people like were like yes and they're like we don't want to make a video game let's just do some cards let's just do some cards with some monsters right paper version of Pokemon or something like that they were thinking and it was fantastic. Like, the first episode I saw when I was in college, I immediately was like, Steve, let's go to this mall. We're going to go to Wizards of the Coast. I remember And we're going to buy these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, we got, and we're going to learn how to play this yeah, garbage. Yeah, we got the Kaiba and Yugi starter decks. He, you were Yugs. Yeah. I was Kaiba. <laughs> and we started playing the the bad way. Because <laughs> at the time, I didn't know you. Like, I had I had no idea how to play. Did we game. not play by the rules? No, the, the first time we played, we just busted out things as we saw fit. I was oh, like, this is not as cool as I thought it was. But then the show would come on and be like, oh my gosh, this is so dope. You know what? Something about, like, that card game itself, yeah. I think it's pretty fucking solid, man. Oh, it's a solid game. Like, we said it, we've said it before, but, like, people still play that shit. And at one point... There's, like, four what, iterations. What do you mean? Well, I think, well, there's the Yu-Gi-Oh! that we have. There's Yu-Gi-Oh! DX. And then there's, like, two other ones that I, I have no idea about. Oh, you mean like shows? Yeah, so there's not like Yugi's is a whole Yeah, it's like Yugi book. GX, Yu-Gi-Oh GX or some shit. I don't know about the I don't know and about the show. It was like Dungeon Dice Monster. I don't know about well. the show. <laughs> I, I was talking about the card game cuz at one point like Magic the Gathering was like threatened. Remember they like they they yeah. said like, "Oh, you guys can't use the term magic cards anymore. You guys got to use spell cards." Yeah, cause... and then they switched it off or whatever. I mean, to, to be honest, there's like tons of card games that they have. Uh, I don't think Magic has anything to worry about. Magic will always have, like, such a loyal following. And that game has been, like, tweaked to such a degree where they're like, we got this down. Magic? Magic, yeah. It's 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 a really fine-tuned game. It I don't really think is. so. Because not only, like, not only, only is it... Uh, the, the last I heard about Magic the Gathering is, like, you're only allowed to play, like, two sets back. And that's yeah. it. Yeah, but that's the thing. They keep fine tuning it, so you can't use like can't use like lotus leaves the entire time, or a black lotus flower, because those things are OP. Remember, God's wrath would just take everything out. I know, but like I don't know, that's fucking stupid. Just make like but, a but, but just the, make like, like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh kind of remedied that with like, oh, you can't use these cards. These no, are banned. No, but see, or like, here, here's what I'll say about Yu-Gi-Oh, because it was always like that was a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh. Once the the basic set was out, they're like, you can't use this, can't use this, can't use this. Because just like with Magic the Gathering, there were some cards that were just OP. They would be like, you know, change of heart. You're like, dang, not only could you use it to attack, but you could always just sacrifice it. Yeah. Or like you could do whatever you wanted with that. So they had to limit how many of those you had in your deck. And now it's completely thrown out the window. Right. But the thing about Magic that separates it from Yu-Gi-Oh! is like Yu-Gi-Oh! The the Yu-Gi-Oh! that you and me played, there was like two strategies that worked. You know, now, either you it depends were all... on it depends on what time we, we were playing. Okay, at. well, we were playing around like the time where uh, the crush card was still not available here. Okay, that's around the time that we stopped playing. By the way, the crush card sucks in real life. No, um, it's uh, it's really good. No, it only lasts for like three turns. Still pretty good. Okay, well, it's like it, okay. I know what you're talking about. It was only available in like there was, tournament packs. Yeah, and there was two. We found out there's two versions. Yeah, there's like the crush. There's a devastation virus. Or yeah, something, and, and then, then there was, like, and then there's the crush one. But what I'm saying is like there was two big strategies. There total physical damage, uh-huh. which meant like blue eyes white dragon style, 
Like beatdown. Well, exactly. Or there had, was like you had four star eighteen hundreds and like some right, skulls. right. Yeah. Or you did the Yu Gi Oh version. So it was like Yu Gi Oh and Kaiba had the best strategies, which was beatdown mode or spell mode with Exodia. Like those were the two, and it was just like hard to I think do anything was, else. I think it was Magic Ruler. Uh, was a set where like Exodia strategies were really good because you had backup soldier. You had, you had Sangan, you had Black uh, Widow. Yeah, Witch of the Black Forest. There and you go, Witch had, of the Black Forest, yeah. And you had uh, some card... Uh, I don't know, so whatever it is to be able to just generate cards that that were like one or two stars. I gotta say, it, though, those strategies were fucking ingenious, Yeah, no, dude. they like, were, because like... It was it was pretty cool seeing those, like... Like, I don't know, when, when you would see somebody pull that off, it's like, damn. Like, that was fucking cool. Like, yeah, they, yeah, it was good. They it was used good. what they had, like, like, and, like uh, Last Will, too, was another one. And oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when and then, uh, so you had to, if you were doing beatdown mode, you'd have to have chain of destruction in your deck. Oh uh, yeah. Because you'd have to like try and be like, okay, I'm gonna try to take out your Exodia deck. All your legit, that one right there. Your, you know, it's and crazy you took too. out all the legs. Magic the Gathering gave you a full counter deck, which was blue. There was a full beatdown it's deck. An older deck. I mean, it's an older uh, game though. But that's you know? what I'm. But that's what I mean. That offers so many more options. But at the same time, I think they're they're. Their solution to like balancing the game was kind of lazy because they were just, they're just like, all right, you can only play the last two sets. We're not dealing with like any of the fucking rest no, but of the. That's better sets. than saying none of these cards are available. It is. I mean, it's they're essentially doing the same thing, but on a grander scale. Well, no, all they're At saying, least... all they're all they're saying is like, the, the, let's keep up with the last two because, do you know how many magic cards there are? It's just like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me there's a million magic cards at this time because they've gone through so damn many. Well, whatever. Either way, I, I like you said, magic is popular. It's not like it's never going to be around. They didn't, it, it'll always they be They didn't around. really have anything to worry about, but Yu-Gi-Oh! as well is is pretty up there. Like, we, we go to like... Uh, Frank like sense. Yeah, like, or any fucking trade show or any, like, convention, people are playing those games. That's They're just... Those are the two main games now. You can't, yeah. you can't, uh, can't, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. Although I will say, Steve, like when you showed that to me, I was like, "What? The show sucks." <laughs> when I showed you the, the the stream, yeah, when you said in the stream, I just I was watching, and it was the episode where Mako uh, Tsunami oh my tricks God. them into into the fish. Yeah, you know what? Too like it's so bad. I don't want to sound like some pretentious animator, but you can really see. <laughs> how little they animated in this show there's so many shots where it's just like long panning shots across like where they're dueling or uh yugi's talking in his own head so they don't have to lip lip sync anything they're just like panning across his face or this is an excellent duel (laughs) yeah it's so like what the fuck like i'm just looking at still images and these kids are being tricked into thinking that this is animation. Yeah, you know. But like, I mean, that's an old anime trick where they're just like sitting there staring each other down while the other one's thinking, I gotta keep them busy. Yeah, I mean, Dragon back. Ball did that too. I'm yeah, they lie. did that a lot. But you're right. It, it is a little lazy, but more of what I was talking about. They just play fast and loose with all sorts of crap. Oh my god. Like, like the, Yugi breaks the rules. In in season one and two, Yugi are, just does just, whatever he wants. There's no rules in the first season. <laughs> they're just like... The things Yugi does are like that is so stupid. There is no way. Uh, that that's my point basically is like, man. And as, that, as a kid, that... as a kid, I just ate this shit up. You know, yeah. like and you're like because uh, on on in the first season when they go to Kaiba's dueling island or whatever, uh-huh. uh huh. They have that. It's Pegasus. Is oh I'm sorry, Pegasus. This is, Duelist this Kingdom. Is Duelist Kingdom. Yeah. They have those those uh, big old arenas. Yeah. And they have land on them and there's like they get a field power bonus and yeah. they go 20 percent 15 percent 30 percent i'm like what and so the that. power levels like increase them to three like there's like oh my 18 plus gets the, the 30 percent blah, blah blah and it's like two four eight one and you're like what what are these numbers that you're coming yeah, up with it makes no fucking so sense. damn complicated that would never happen in the game <laughs> it never happened <laughs> there was a what episode was it it was it was like uh, Yugi battling like uh, some weird ghost Kaiba. That yeah, was, right. Yeah, uh, like it's not Kaiba. It turns into like some fucking nip, like weird. It's a clown thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not panic. No, it's no, no. That it's like some weird thing, fat yeah. like clown cape thing, wearing yeah. thing. Um, but he had a mystic elf out, which is like 
a shitty, not a shitty card, but it's just like a defense card, right? Yeah. No effect. But I, I guess in the show, she can secretly chant a spell. Oh, that, yeah, like, she's been chanting a spell for three turns. Yeah, it's like, like what? What? No, that, <laughs> that's not how the card works, man. Like, are you kidding me with this shit? Or, or the other one where he's fighting a Weevil. Uh-huh. And he decides, he's like, I'm going to play uh, the Mystical Mist card. And, like, all it does is, like, clear the... I think it. I think what the card actually does is it, like, removes all the power bonuses or whatever. Okay. But in this one, it was like, your, your insect can't fly now because its wings are all wet. And he's oh, like, what? So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not how it, it works. It, yeah, and then... Uh, You're just playing fast and loose with these. Yeah, the, the, the Mako one is a good example because he's... He says no. something about, like, Feral Imp uses electricity... And all your guys are underwater, and he's going to oh, zap. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that made sense, I guess, logically. But, like, remember the BS about the living arrow? Uh, the yeah. living arrow, polymerization, and his, like, undead mammoth. Yeah, he. I, I was like... I, I, <laughs> so, like, Yugi had, like, a dead blue eyes in his deck, in his fusion no. deck? Or, I don't understand. No, he... <laughs> doesn't make any fucking sense that is the stupidest thing and i was so pissed because i always loved kaiba in that show right he's like so he's just gonna make crap up to take out the blue eyes white dragon you remember how kaiba wins that duel too yeah he he tells him if you if you kill that blue eyes i'm I'm gonna gonna jump jump." yeah i was like (laughs) what the stupidest he says he's gonna commit suicide unless he lets him win it's ridiculous and then it's like this is this is why I don't like this show it's just so like I I... no you know what let let me put it this way Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays is just like a train wreck that you can't look away from you know because I had her on in the background and I was hearing these things and I was like what hold on (laughs) I have to click go back over to this tab real fast and I'm like what the fuck is going on here and Sure enough, it's like this ridiculous stuff is going on. Also, Yugi's deck doesn't really have a strategy. There's yeah. like, he has some cards, but then all of a sudden he'll like, like he has a big uh, like stack of cards. Right. Right? And then in every episode, he has these like cards that he pulls out. He's like, I've never seen this card before. He's like, don't you like look yeah. at your cards before you <laughs> like put them in there? Because like at one point he fights um, like in Battle City. Because Battle City starts, like, they start to, like, really try to nail down the rules a little bit. Yeah, they play a little more fair. They have, like, you have to yeah. sacrifice creatures and you get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, we well, have to sacrifice to summon... Like, yeah, right, it, right, right. It, there's a little bit more to it, right? But in this particular one, I think it's the first uh, rare hunter that he comes across. He takes out that chain card that destroys Exodia uh-huh. because the rare hunter has Exodia. Is like... Not how huh. it works, by the way. No, no, it's not how it works, I know, but it, what I'm saying is just, like, he pulls that card, and he's like, oh, that card's not useful right now. It's like, well, you know what it does. Why did you put it in there? Yeah. I he just know. has these cards. And then, like, all of a sudden, he's like, I'm going to use these three magnet warriors. And I was like, when did you have these magnet warriors? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know. Um, he just, does he, like, go through his deck every single time he's about to start a duel? Um, I don't know about you. I don't have, like, five or six decks to ha- to go through and be like hmm which one should i use or whatever yeah it doesn't uh he's there's no consistency as yugi's deck right um i, I was gonna say though uh you know all that aside oh okay. there are some shots that i like like um the shot of exodia killing all three blue eyes white dragons is super cool the pilot episode yeah yeah I, and i and i'm i'm as i was watching this show i was like i only really remember like these um these memorable shots where they actually did animate things yeah, because like, the those... first, the first, in the first duel, like, when the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, like, is killing all of Yugi's, uh... Cards. Cards. Which, by the way, he just pulls out the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, he just puts it on there, he's like, I summoned him. Yeah. And I'm like, alright, and then Yugi doesn't have the good sense to put his, uh, cards in defense mode, so he keeps losing. No, he doesn't lose <laughs> life points. He, he doesn't? No, he has them in defense mode. Oh, okay. I, I it, thought it, he didn't, because I was like, okay... I, I I don't know. Like it's still like okay. So he doesn't have mirror force at this point, or yeah, like what the fuck, like, or like because trap Grandpa's hole. deck is just awful. That's why you don't have a dark hole in there because that came in the, <laughs> that came in the starter deck, dude. So you, you don't have, have a dragon capture jar. Yeah, going exactly. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck, man? You, there's so many things he could have done to. Like that's why I always hated playing with you because 
you well, like, those when were... we were kids when we were kids steven and i uh decided like to make the game funner uh-huh i would theme mine after kaiba and he would name uh theme his after yugi well so. it was more like um it made the game funner. Yeah, but it was more because like we got the starter decks and we just decided let's just use what's on the show. Yeah, so as opposed like, to like going to tournaments or like getting all serious about it. it yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It's a lot so, more funner to just you know just go with, <laughs> go with the continuity of the show, right? It was great because whenever we'd see a card, it'd be like, oh, I wonder who gets to use that card, and it was like, oh, great, battle locks. I can use the battle locks. Uh huh. And then you got to use like you got to use most of the good cards. Yeah, first. Yugi has some really fucked up cards, man. <laughs> Like, Mirror Force and Magic Cylinder and, like, it's like, Jesus, like, they're just way too good. Oh, my gosh. And then the, what is it, the box? That one wasn't the, that one wasn't so good. They threw some shitty ones at him, too. Like, Dark Magician Girl is like, what? Why? I mean, uh, Lord of D for uh, Kaiba was pretty good. I got, oh, like, yeah. two packs so he I could really get three good. of those. That was that was awesome. Uh, yeah, and he, but had, in he the, had the flute, too, man. Yeah, the, the flute that goes with that. But, like, in the very beginning, Kaiba didn't have any dragons. Right. It was just those three, and that was it. So yeah, it was kind of crappy. Uh-huh. Uh, but, like, you got Lejin. Yeah. He was, like, the strongest was, base monster. Yeah, and then uh, you could get Summon Skull, which is, like... Oh, my gosh. That thing is so ridiculous. Yeah, it's, like, okay, Summon Skull has 2,500 attack, and you only sacrifice one. What the fuck do I need <laughs> the Dark Magician for? There's no reason to have a Dark Magician. He's in this the day. most powerful magician in terms of attack and defense. Is that what it says on the I card? think it's, yeah. that's what it says on the that's, fucking, that's not even true. That's not even true because they have like Magician of Black Chaos or something that has Yeah, more. but he's not a full magician. Yeah. He's like he's like half and half, isn't Like, how do you summon that guy? You have to there's ritual two. summon him. There's two different ones. You need blo- there's a what? blue one that's a ritual card. Yeah. And then there's like a regular one that you can just get by sacrificing cards. Oh my god. And you know how much money that 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 what? damn hobby cost us, man? Yeah, it was. Fifty percent of my paycheck a, went to cards. Yeah, every it's time. an expensive hobby. You know, um it, it's cause we would like we would go to Frankincense and we would buy like like the boxes. boxes. We would get like a box of them of like every month. We'd get like yeah. a um, yeah, but you know, like uh... then we'd come home, and his unwrapping party. Yeah, you and me would sit there and be like, "Normals, normals, normals. Yeah. ooh, rare, normals, normals, rares," and we just separate them out. I know. Say what you will about uh, Yu Gi Oh, but that was fucking fun. That was like, I, <laughs> if you have the money to spend, yeah, dude, like I, I had such fun memories of just like, holy shit, like you know, oh, I got a secret rare, or like, oh, I got like an ultra rare, whatever. Like it, it, it was, it was great, man. It was pretty fun, and like I it, just, I just remember our parents constantly like, "You waste, you guys money. are spending money on these fucking cards." <laughs> I find them all over the house on the floor, and like, yeah. Oh my god, I remember that because um, one time we even tried to go to downtown LA uh, and buy instead of just getting like the, because the Yu Gi Oh cards come in uh, like the little packs come in boxes, right? But the boxes come in crates. Oh, Remember, really? and we try, and we went down. I think with a neighbor of ours, Frankie. Uh huh. We went to go get that giant box. Uh, mm-hmm. I think the pa- the the expansion pack was Legend of Blue Eyes or something. Okay. And we got a box of those. Those, those were the first packs. Yeah, those were the first packs because we wanted. Uh, what I forget what was the card we wanted. I wanted more Blue Eyes. I mean, so I that's think, why I was trying. I think to get. the only thing that was good in that was Exodia. We yeah. Had- they had variants of uh, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes too. Yes. We yes, are- they had the one with the world in the back. No, no. With the like, like the, slab, it's in the like back. a. Ta- no, there was actually man, there was more. There's the, right. th- blue eyes has three variations: yeah. the world, the slab, and the painting. Yeah, there's one where he's like, no, there's one where he's like in the air flying and his head is turned to the side or something. That's the one with the world in the back. No, no, no. I think it's a different one. Well, I know that Jesus, there's one in the there's, slab. There's so many, yeah. And then the one that's painted, the one that got torn up. <laughs> <laughs> God. Dude, that show is so. Like, that's what I mean about that show, man. It's just so like, it's so fucking stupid. You can't not watch it and enjoy it. You know, like I remember. Okay, so if you guys don't know, in the series, in the very beginning, legend the the blue eyes white dragon is like the rarest card, which right now it's super common. Like it's the this easiest card. There's to get. only four of them in the world. There's only four in the world. And Kaiba wants it so he can tear it up. Yeah, Grandpa uh, uh, Yugi's grandpa has a blue eyes white dragon. Kaiba goes in there and he sees it, tries to trade him all these cards for it, and Grandpa says, "Nah, I got this card for one of my best friends, 
and I it's love him. It's a very special card. Yeah, and then Kaiba says... You gotta duel me for it. Okay, whatever, yeah. And so they set up, like, some duel. Grandpa loses, because, you know, he's old. He's and got then, a bad heart. Right. Um, he wins his blue eyes. Al- Alzheimer's, you know, he's constantly... <laughs> Constantly drawing cards, he doesn't. He doesn't remember what, what what time it is. And then the big reveal for that episode is Kaiba takes the card because he has three. He takes the card and he tears it up. He's yeah. like, now nobody can use it against me. Yeah, he already has three. He could have just kept the card, <laughs> but he's a. Dick. But he, he decided to rip it in half. It's funny too because like. I was watching that episode and like the stream chat is there like on the side. Yeah. And they're just constantly like, put it in a sleeve. Why don't you put it? <laughs> like, why don't you put it in a fucking sleeve? It's your favorite that card. That always like... bothered me. None of their cards are in sleeves. Yeah. And it drove me crazy because of course you put it in sleeves, man. It's, it's so funny though because the chat points out like anything that's wrong with the show. It's like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh will say like, the card read. And they're like, where does it say that? <laughs> There's no words on the cards. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Uh, I just like that too because, like, this is a personal story. But is this? There was this one time that Steve's like, "Here, this is your favorite card." And Stephen had taken a blue eyes, torn it up, and then taped it back together <laughs> yeah. and given it to me. I was like, "What the hell is this?" And you started laughing your ass yeah. off because <laughs> he does it on the show, right? He tapes he it tapes up. it back up yeah. when uh, when uh, Rebecca comes back for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Like he's like, here's the card. And oh, she's like, this is all torn up. Dude, I completely forgot about that. Like his and friend's he... granddaughter or something, right? Yeah, comes... Solomon. Yeah, he comes back, or she comes back, and she wants the card. Yeah, because she's from America, mm-hmm. and she's like the best player in America. She's a kid prodigy. Mm, she's I like, see. you stole my grandpa's card. She's blonde and she's overweight. No, she's not. Never she's mind. not overweight. She has a teddy bear. Okay, she's a teddy bear. Remember? And she's a good duelist. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though. Here's what I will say. Let's hear it. We watched it this one time. I was still in college, I believe. And uh-huh. you and I somehow got every single episode of Yugi on either a disc or we found a site that let you play all of it. You know what it was? It was, um, there was like episodes we hadn't seen because we had fallen off of Yu-Gi-Oh. No, they just hadn't shown them yet. No, we we had fallen off because at one point they were passing them on TV and we were just like, it got so fucking stupid. Yeah, like okay, we yeah, don't I even care it, yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. Um, GameStop used to sell DVDs. Yes. And they had like, oh, all these got to go, and they're like a dollar, right? Right. They had some Yu-Gi-Oh episodes that we hadn't seen before. Oh, that's right. That's and how so, we see it. So I was just like, well, fuck it, let's let's get them and, and see what it's all about. And these were like, they were in Egypt or something. Yeah. But we only got up to a certain point in those DVDs. And then you were like, maybe they're on YouTube and shit. So we like went on YouTube or something, some streaming site or something. But we And it was the last, it was like the last two seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes. And it was at 11 o'clock at night. And we stayed up until like 6 a.m. And we're like, let's watch it. And we stayed up until 6 a.m. to watch the finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! Of Yu-Gi-Oh! That was a really good duel. (laughs) It's a really good duel because... They still didn't play by the rules. They but. still did not play by the rules. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But it was a good duel. Yeah. And I, and afterwards I was like, that was worth it. Yeah. And I went to sleep for the rest of the day. Yeah. That was one of the few times that we didn't go to Frankincense that day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but because, yeah. Good. And it's bittersweet too because like, not, not to get too far off on a tangent, but like, if you guys have ever been to frankincense or thinking of going there's a like there's an epidemic of Yu-Gi-Oh, magic and whatever other card game if you don't know what frankincense <laughs> is it's just like a warehouse it's like a warehouse it's a flea swap, market it's swap a flea, meat yeah. kind of thing yeah yeah and there's limited parking yeah and oh, yeah. the problem so is that like, kids will just sit there all like they will stay there all day uh-huh. and eat all that crappy food that they sell there which is just like Chili cheese fries and burgers and and whatever, right. and they'll sit there and they'll play Yu Gi Oh. So all they'll day. take up all the spaces, and yeah. so there's no like turnaround. So it's kind of an epidemic, but uh, they still sell like crazy there. Yeah, they do. Um, <sighs> but yeah, so but that's sorry, that's my little good mem- says rant. <laughs> good memories, though. You know, I gotta say, it's good. It's good memories, and um, they they recently came out with like this app game. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been playing that thing like crazy. Yeah. Uh, I like I, it. I tried to get into it, but I, I don't know. It's like, it was too easy. I think I played like, 
I played against like even Kaiba or something or like Joey, and it was like so fucking easy to win. Well, yeah, because you fought them on level ten. You got to fight them on level forty, and they actually do stuff. Yeah, but the stupid part is this though. Like in that game, uh huh. If you want to build a Kaiba deck, uh-huh. you have to play as Yugi and defeat Kaiba to get his cards. Oh, that's weird. I mean, it makes sense that they want you to play other players. Doesn't it only have like three slots too? Every no, every character has three slots. So Joey has like a starter deck that you can get. No, to. no, no. I mean, on the field, you can't. Place, oh no, no. Yes, yes, yes. You can't place five cards. Yeah, cause, on the cause field, you can you only. Don't, play. Yeah, because they play with those weird rules. Because you don't start with eight thousand life points. You start, you with, start four? with four. Okay. And the field is three monster and three spell. That's dumb. And you get a field, uh, field uh, slot as well. Okay. And then yeah, you yeah, have yeah. your fusion monsters and everything. But is, the rules are a little weird. But regardless, it's a pretty solid game. You can actually auto... Like, they, they have, like, plebes that you can fight. You can auto-duel those guys. Okay. So it doesn't take too much time. You can but it's cool because Yeah. It'll play okay. your deck for you. Right. If If you want to fight these, like, little guys. I made... Here's why I still play it. Is I made a Blue-Eyes White Dragon one, right? Cool. Um, but I also made a XYZ Dragon deck. Cool. And it plays super awesome. Cool, nice. Super, super awesome. It's a free game too, right? It's a free game, but nice. they they get you, man. They're like, why did Dude, you spend money? <laughs> no, I haven't spent money, but like a polymerization card. Uh huh. Still, I can't. I still haven't gotten one of those. Oh, and you can like buy it. But you can buy it. Oh, I see how they. You know what I mean? You. Yeah. You can buy it, but it still has that system of like you play enough, you get these these gems, you can trade those gems for packs. So it's like you could grind it out. It seems like. But it's free. It seems like, why didn't they do that so much earlier, man? I, I think I would have played it, like... Like, if they had online connectivity on, like, a console game? And well, just like, that. you know what? They had a DS game. Uh, it was, oh like, World gosh. Championships or something. That DS okay. game was awesome. And DS didn't have the most amazing online, right? No. But for this game, it was so good. Mm-hmm. Because you don't really need, like, one-to-one, uh, you know, accuracy. Yeah. You, you're taking, it's turn by turn. Yeah, right? it's yeah. taking turns. So uh, me and one of my friends uh, that I went to high school with would constantly play that online. And I was like, this is such a fucking perfect game to have on DS. Was like, that the one that you could just enter the code on the card and get the card? Uh, yeah, for a lot of cards. But yeah. there, it, it obviously like stopped at like, a certain year. Right, right, right. So okay. like past that, they were just like... What the Which fuck? was a nice implementation, but they figured out, oh wait, people are just sharing these codes online, so... Did you kind of break in the game? <laughs> yeah. I guess so, huh? But they did have limits for, like, for example, you couldn't have uh, three Brigekis. You know you know what, actually? I think in other games, it was like, if you entered a correct, like, code or whatever. Yeah, the number on the card. All it would give you was a pack. It oh, really? It wouldn't give you the card. It would give oh. you, like, a pack. Oh, so. that's better. Yeah. I mean, my favorite version, like, I know we're going super hard on Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, but my favorite <laughs> version, like video game version of that was the duelist of the roses which was like an interesting take on the Yu-Gi-Oh game where it, it is where it um it translated the card game into this weird board game it was like a it was like a checkers or chess kind of thing yeah because you could move your cards forward uh-huh and uh you know you'd have to move them like like steven saying like uh, pieces on a chess board right yeah. and what was cool is you could in the game you can bluff about what your face down cards are. Yeah. But, you know, there's a monster card zone and then there's a spell and trap. I mean, similar, zone, similar right? to the game. Similar to yeah, the yeah. regular game. But in this one, you could play a spell card face down and move it like it was a monster. Right. So there was like a whole it new was a level. Hard, it was a yeah. harder bluff. Yeah. And it was cool because, like, uh, uh, like, field cards, once you flip those, like in the game, they just take it, they have an effect like, oh, your monster gets 300 more points or something. Yeah. In this game, if you flipped it, it would transform the field that you fought on. Yeah. So then your it's monster... kind of hard to describe. Yeah, like if Maybe you I'll have put... a chance, like give I'll put that. Some, a... I'll put some screenshots up or something because it's a really interesting take on like the Yu Gi Oh uh, franchise. Yeah, because it was it was a very very uh, unique style of playing because you it had this chess and movement. And like card effect, like the card effects change. It was almost like Fire Emblem too. Yeah, like a that, little bit like that. Yeah, like yeah. that strategy of where you're placing your guys and all that. You know? Exactly, and and that that was part of the that was part of the charm of that game is that like you really needed to like watch where you flip certain cards. Yeah, I mean I, I'm gonna do a shitty job explaining it, but you had like a deck leader 
So whatever, yeah. whatever card you had as your deck leader, you you didn't actually play as, but that certain monster would give like you special abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, like maybe you could like I, I don't I have no examples. I'm sorry, but maybe it's like you get more summoning points or something. Right, and and there was a way to win the game by defeating. You could defeat you could defeat your opponent by attacking. Uh, not only their life points because they did take uh, damage for their life points, uh-huh. but if I remember correctly, you could attack their their leader as well. The yeah, their leader, leader was directly attacking. Yeah, basically. yeah. But you could also use like if you had a deck leader that was really strong, you could also use him. Could you? Are you yeah, sure? yeah, because you could move him around. I don't think you could attack with him though. No, no, I don't think so. Well, I'd never had to because the tact. What well, was my mine was always tactical warrior. Yeah, and he just gave everybody like a boost. That yeah, something game. like that. Yeah, yeah. That that was a that was a really interesting game, and they also had this one on GameCube that didn't do so well. Which one was that? I mean, uh, maybe it did because they... remember that BS one on PlayStation called For Forbidden Memories. Yeah, that was a BS one. Well, that one was more like the traditional card game, but uh, it was it was weird because remember you just like you fused like weird things together. Yeah, you, you could, got... and you didn't need any kind of polymerization. You played it almost like the. It, like in in the series, there was a way to play the game in ancient Egypt, uh-huh. where you just summoned these creatures, right, right, with huge stone tablets, and it's kind of how you played that. You just had this random assortment of cards, and you could fuse cards together without any kind of spell card. Yeah, the way they got you with all these games, though, is they 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 had like exclusive cards that came in oh, the game. Do you remember yeah. that? That's that was, right. That was, you would always see these Yu-Gi-Oh games at GameStop because kids would buy them and they would sell them back right immediately. Back. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I was going to say this one on GameCube called The False Bound Kingdom. Was I like, remember I remember that title, but that I remember the game. That one was almost like an RPG. Yeah, it was so weird. Uh, I think they got a little too crazy with that one. But that one was also like, okay, at least they're like trying to put a spin on the old Yu-Gi-Oh kind of like, uh, uh, you know. Formula. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I, the only one I ever played that it, it had any kind of bearing was the DS one that you were describing. Yeah. Because it was cool because my D, the, the original DS that looks like a little gray laptop almost. Yeah. I used, to, I used to put that up in my college class and just like play. You know, like because it was a turn-based game, I could just have it open. And then while I'm, while I'm taking notes in class, I would go and tap on it and be like, oh, play that. And then yeah. I'd keep it. So I'd be playing actively in school. People thought that I was just taking notes on this little pda thing during lectures and stuff yeah <laughs> just to play that during lectures you know that, that, <laughs> i mean i think that's the beauty of the game is like like i was saying like the online portion of it that i would, I would you're like playing on ds and stuff mm-hmm. is like you don't need to constantly be active basically yeah you can just take your time and pick your moves and all that stuff and oh my gosh it's crazy man like it's it's, it's a good game because of that I used to used to hate those moments. And like this this game this card game is always full of those moments where it's explain, like Explain, explain these moments. These moments where you've built up this whole strategy where like for example I was I, I had the ultimate blue eyes white dragon with right. the three heads and blah blah blah. Which totally wasn't worth it. You'd rather have just three yeah, blue just eyes. Yeah, just three <laughs> blue eyes is way, way more worth it. But like pulling that card out, it was purple. It's right. cool. Polymerization, all that stuff. Um, and then I'd be like, I'm going to attack your life points directly because you just, you can't stop this. And then you'd be like, oh, mirror force. <laughs> These, those are the moments I'm talking about. Like you build this huge thing out and you're like, I'm going to wipe you out in one second. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to Karibo that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that, I think that's why we, we weren't really attracted to like the tournament scene. Yeah. Because the tournament scene was full of all these fucking like cock blocking moments where they're just like. Oh, I summon all this. Oh, uh, Dark Hole. Everything's dead. Or like, oh, you're trying to get Exodia? Card destruction. You know, like... Yeah, it was just like, people would play... I don't know, I always hated tournaments because they played so matter-of-factly. I was like, where's the fun? Yeah. Where's the fun of pulling that card? I (laughs) remember I played like in one like small tournament at like a comic book shop. Is that a comical? Uh, Yeah, it was was near our house. Um, Yeah. And I beat like this fucking 35-year-old guy and he got so mad. What? He got so... When was this? When I was a little kid when I was playing. Who did you go with, John? Uh, I, I don't remember who I went with, but... Oh, um, my God. <laughs> but it was like... I, I I was just... I was like, I'm just playing a fucking game, dude. <laughs> did he flip the table? <laughs> no, no, no. But he was just like... I just remember, like, he didn't even let me, like, deal the last attack or whatever. He was... he And that was, like, the first time I had dealt with, like, a... Like, 
grown man like a, <laughs> like a salty person or like an angry like sore loser and I, I was just like what the fuck just happened dude like i was like this game is made for kids i mean like are you really mad that you're losing like what the fuck the cartoon is produced by four kids entertainment yeah, it's, so it's for, it's for us you know it's not for you yeah stop getting i can't believe you played like you know what's funny you about just, that? You know what's funny about that too, though? To you, just you just said four kids. Yeah. The the Twitch chat is just always on top of any time they censor the show. Yeah. So like, when Pegasus is reading his comic books and eating his cheese. Yeah. Uh, he says that his wine is fruit juice in the show. Oh, that's right. And, and people just won't fruit let that. Fruit juice go, yeah. and wine. Yeah. No, they say he says like. Cheese and my favorite fruit juice and my favorite comic book or something. It's like, well, we know, we know that's not <laughs> fucking fruit juice, dude. Like, or the part where, uh, uh, what is it? Taya's in Japan. She's taking a shower, but in the American version, she's just changing. I don't know about that. There, there's a part where Mai shows up, okay, and she's like, "Hey, you don't have to be dirty like these guys." And so she's washing up and changing. Uh huh. But in Japan, she's like taking a shower. Oh, okay. So they just took that part. I didn't. I, like, I didn't mean that. I meant more like stupid things. There's a <laughs> there's a point where like uh, Bandit Keith has a gun pointed to somebody. Oh yeah, but instead it's just his finger. Yeah, they, <laughs> they just like took the gun out, so his hand is just like like it's holding like a gun, but there's nothing there. He just pointed his finger. He, yeah, like, I it, want that prize money. Yeah, it's like what what is he gonna do? Like, and they change stupid things on the cards too. Remember on the cards is like Mako Tsunami's like signature card. Uh huh. Is this uh, this um, uh, fisherman? Yeah. In in the Japanese version, it has a spear. Uh huh. But in the card, it has like this weird like ball at the end of it. Oh really? Yeah. And That's if stupid. It, and it's stupid because in the show he throws a spear. Yeah. So there's already a spear in the game, but it's like it, it's just it's, it looks so stupid. A like, harpoon you... was really that bad. Like they couldn't. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's so just stupid. like and and we already I think we talked about that uh, the dark magician girl. They gave her a little skirt. Yeah, and they like she has no cleavage, so it just looks like she has like a weird, like it just looks anatomically like incorrect. Yeah, and her her like jewel on her chest used to have the star of like, like I think it's the star of David or whatever that something like, like that, that, yeah. that that like dark magic star or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's just like a red jewel <laughs> that looks like really it looks like <laughs> badly photoshopped on there. Yeah, uh, but it's funny because do that a lot. Remember, like remember our. Uh, our version of Monster Resurrection. It's just supposed to be this. It like the the oh, Japanese yeah. it's version supposed is to be a, like an ancient symbol, right? It's just a Japanese, uh, I think, Ankh symbol. Which is, if you don't know what that is, it's like a cross. What that? But heck? instead of the top part of the cross, it's kind of like a little loop. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I believe it's called an Ankh. It's just that. But we got this weird thing with hair and a jewel on it. And yeah, like, it's, it's overly it, designed. It's like this really. It's almost like somebody like tried to cover up a bad tattoo you know <laughs> yeah. like that's exactly what it is like it's like somebody just like like meticulously like like grew gotta over cover it. it up yeah it's like this weird <laughs> intricate design uh, and it, i don't even think that 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 symbol has any kind of religious connotation but it looks like an american cross yeah which they were like maybe they'll think it's black magic <laughs> the only or something the last thing i can think of is um in, in a recent episode that i just watched joey Joey supposedly shoves Tristan and he says like oh what'd you shove me for and it's he like punches him. he clearly punched him <laughs> but like the edit is so like it just kind of goes to like a black screen and then Tristan's on the floor it's like what did you <laughs> shove me and I was yeah, like yeah I, that's why your cheek is all bruised right? yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> it's like do you think kids are fucking stupid or something like I, I don't know that's funny anyway uh, yeah, so we ended up talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! this whole episode. Well, it's uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh! episode. It's alright. Well, yeah. like, go catch it on Twitch. You'll talk. You'll see what we're talking about. Yeah, it's probably going to be on uh, all week, I think. It's a good... I mean, it's a lot of nostalgia for me, so right. it's going to do really, really well. Maybe they're amping up for something. I don't know, because they did that whole Bob Ross thing, remember? Yeah. That, that was the other marathon they had. Um, I forget what other show that they were doing. But they've done this before, so... Um, that Bob Ross is pretty dope, so yeah. It was kind of uh, cool, uh, except, like, I, I don't know. I, Do you like how he did his brushes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. That, that guy, like... No, we're not getting into that. Yeah, so We're not getting into that, Steve. I, I just, 
I just don't know. I have no opinion on that guy, you know? That's that's pretty much all I have to say. I know, like, his his wife died of something, and, like, he he was a veteran of a war, yep. and wow. he just started painting, like... That's, see, that's why I don't want to get into it, because that's like a... It's like a real it's weirdly weird. sad story, and, like... But he was a great painter. He was really, really, really a great painter. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone back then was in the war, so what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Rogers was in the yeah, war. Yeah, Mr. War Roger was in the war, and he, like, uh, he, he he sniped people or something. No, okay. Yeah. We're going into urban legends. He stuff was a trained now. assassin. Uh, yeah. That's where he wore sweaters. Yeah. Because he had tattoos all up and down his arms, right? Yeah, it, the, the, sweater oh, was, the sweater was white. Uh, but you know the blood stains of the of his enemies got onto it. You know right. that's why it stays red, right. like Kratos. You know, and, and the and the reason he has the Daniel Tigers because he was in the Vietnam War, and you know they would nickname all the tigers that came to attack them as Daniels. Oh, I see. Nice. I get you. <laughs> Am I just making shit yeah. up now? <laughs> he also had the Blades of Chaos straight up. You know, behind one of those paintings. Um, well, you know, if uh, if you guys like Yu Gi Oh. Uh, let us know what you what you think about uh, the show or the card game or whatever you know. Tell us when you fell off that train. Yeah. <laughs> tell us tell us what rules you broke when you played Yu Gi Oh as a kid. Um, but uh, uh, final thoughts, Ernie. What, what are your final thoughts on Yu Gi Oh? I think I might have spent over three thousand dollars on that game. Okay, I didn't want to hear that. Uh, but, okay. uh, but that was my final thought, just because I'm thinking about in the like I was trying to calculate it in my head like three. I think we played for a total of three years, and I was just trying to calculate how much. Did you I know spend what on though? It game. got to a point where like we had a lot of cards, and we knew people that had a lot of cards, and we would just start trading. And I don't, I don't think we like because we got to a card set where we just stopped. It, it, yeah, we definitely just stopped playing at mm-hmm. one point. Um, well, because it kind of became stale. Because yeah. we, we'd have, like, like I was telling you earlier, and not to get too into it because we're trying to wrap up, <laughs> but it was just, like, we had this one strategy that really worked, and all these new cards that would come out, yeah. you would try that new strategy that they were trying to push in that one, uh-huh. but your strategy still killed that one. So you'd be like, nah, I'll just go back to this one. It was also because, like, they started introducing different colored cards. Yeah. There was, exactly. like, white cards, and yes. I was like, you know what, man? I'm done. Like, I don't want to learn any more rules. I, I think I'm done know. with this, like... Yeah. And phasing out and blah, 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 and all this other weird stuff. But yeah, so spent a lot of money. That's my yeah. final thought. What about you? <laughs> final thoughts on everything that happened this week. I think Yu-Gi-Oh, to me, fits like right into to all my other interests, basically, you know? Like, I, I seem they are to, terrible. I seem to like, <laughs> yeah, I seem to like terrible things that I just can't, like, look away from. And Yu-Gi-Oh just falls right in there. Like, God, it's just so ridiculous it is honestly if you've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh before please try and catch it on twitch because it, it, it is amazing amazing uh, in the same way that like tommy was so's the room right exactly is. it's it has that because kind of it's such feel. a kind of train wreck but not not to say that the animation uh like and the character design are cool because uh-huh. it's like it's early animes so it's got that charm to it you know what i liked about uh the that Yu-Gi-Oh one Yu-Gi-Oh and that ridiculous hair that's I think Yugi's design is cool. I mean, <laughs> legitimately, legitimately, I think that design is cool. All and those, then they just got lazy. Yeah, all those else. other kids that have like the crazy hair. Like, like his his nemesis Kaiba just uh, has a bowl cut. Yeah, he still they looks, just got. And then like in the first season, no, they no, just no, gave I thought, him a green. I thought, I thought you meant like Yu-Gi-Oh GX has some kid with like some weird haircut. Fuck off! All right, <laughs> Yugi like Yugi Moto. That's a good design. He's I stand, got I stand pink by it. hair and and golden bangs. Like weird blonde bangs. Yeah, yeah. golden blonde. Like, how do you... How, like, does he go to the salon to do that? It's, does he bleach those... Or, or is that his natural state of hair? Apparently, because Grandpa has the same yeah, hairstyle. Apparently it's hereditary. But he keeps that under wraps. It's, it's hereditary. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. It um, just grows that way. <laughs> yeah, and then like the pharaoh... How the fuck do they explain that the pharaoh has the same haircut? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Whatever. Okay. All right, we got to wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, it's time to wrap this up. Um, that's it for this week, guys. See you next week. See you, guys. <laughs>